Sort of like those old school, you know, uh, cartoons where like the, the, the wizard in the lab with the cauldron and the, you know, poof and adding this and that. So it's sort of fun to make these things that you're going to give someone who's going to, they're going to not take this and make them better from it. So clinical pharmacist basically is one of the two divisions of pharmacy. The, the two main divisions are retail and clinical. Clinical being the hospital-based pharmacist. So we don't do a lot of dispensing like you'd see at like at a retail pharmacy store like Long's or Walgreens. That's everyone thinks like, well, how many pills do you count per day? I don't count any pills per day. I, I don't do that. We more work as like consultants uh, in the hospital, helping the physicians to manage the patients. So if you come in to be to see me in the hospital, you come in normally in your in probably your worst state, your sickest state. So you come into the uh, ER via ambulance. Um, let's say you had a heart attack outside of the hospital and your heart had unfortunately stopped and they're doing CPR as you came in. When you come into the ER, I'd be helping the staff and, and the doctors decide which drugs to use, when to push, their, push your um, epinephrine, which IV uh, medications to give you to help to keep your heart going or start it up again. Um, I make uh, recommendations sort of on my own, whatever I think is the best treatment plan for the patients. The most interesting thing to me about pharmacy would be um, this is going to be nerding out for a second, but uh, is the interaction with the drug molecule with the body itself and how I can give you a chemical and cause a drastic change in your body for the good or for the bad. So, you know, working in the ER, we'll see people that come in and overdose on illicit drugs or even, you know, the medications that they're given by their doctors um, and they can have a negative outcome and how I can sort of use other medications to correct that and to prevent them from having a negative outcome. Every person alive basically is going to have to have some kind of interaction with medications in their life at some point point. Um, and you come into the hospital you know every patient in the building is going to be on something at least you know as needed or, or, or something so we sort of touch every single life uh, every single patient that comes in through the through the medical center so I thought it was important to be knowledgeable and skillful in this aspect of healthcare to try to help patients have the best outcome that they can have. So I feel that UH uh, gave me probably the best foundation possible starting off at KCC. It was really good since I was going into that sort of a very heavily science-based field. I felt it was the best option um, with the, the faculty and the class sizes, the availability of classes that really helped to build a strong foundation for me to go on into upper level sciences later on. Actually, when I was doing a master's program at UH Manoa, I had taken uh, two graduate level pharmacology classes. Um, I had heard of pharmacy, but I didn't know that there was different different fields of pharmacy before that. So in this class, I sort of learned about what is clinical pharmacy um, and sort of what their role is in the hospital. And I thought, oh, that's pretty interesting. It's doctorate level work, but not as a physician. So um, whenever the UH Hilo School of Pharmacy opened, I thought, hey, it's a good good chance to, you know, kind of go, go more into that. I try to stay as active as I can with UH, so especially with the School of Pharmacy, um, you know, I try to help out as much as possible. I do teach some classes for them. Yeah, I mean, I actually, I enjoy teaching a lot. I used to, I used to hate public speaking, but uh, teaching has given me a lot of confidence to do that. But also, that old saying about you, you really learn the most by teaching, I found to be 100% correct. I do, I feel like I learn so much more by working with students or teaching. Well, I think for students who aren't sure for what they want to do, I think it's important to keep an open mind and not be afraid to try different things. Um, I did sort of bounce around between medical laboratory science, the research sciences, like clinical me like medicine type things, which I'm doing now in pharmacy. But now when I'm done, I still encompass all of those things in my daily, daily job. And I wouldn't have had as good of a grasp on that if I didn't do what I did previously, which was try different things, learn different things, and couldn't be familiar in different, uh, different aspects of the medical sciences. You sort of have to understand the whole process, the whole, every piece of the puzzle to be the best uh, practitioner that, that you can be. Well, I think the, the biggest thing I got out of my time at UH, at the various campuses, is I sort of learned how to learn, which I think is the most important thing because uh, not everyone knows how to do that. Uh, and my time at UH kind of taught me how to, how to learn, how I learned and how I can you know, use that to, to, to go forward in life.